<clears throat> right, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you how I imported uh, weapons into Call of Duty from uh, Cold Games, Call of Duty games. Uh, that be weapons, animations, whatever. Uh, so you're going to need a couple of programs for this. You're going to need a program called Wraith Archon. Um, I'll have a description. Uh, I'll have a link for that in the description. You're going to need Autodesk Maya. You're going to need Unity, and you're going to need a Call of Duty game. Um, to get Maya, you can, if you're a student, you can get it for free legally. Um, there are also many other ways to get it. I will say no more. Uh, so, to begin, we're going to go into a level that has the gun we want, possibly. Uh, I'm going to get the G3. Um, so I think this one has it. And that was very quick. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, so now we need to open up Wraith Archon. And we want to go load game. And this is a list of all animations and models currently loaded in memory uh, owned by the game. So I'm going to search G3. And boom, we got we also got G36 here because you know it includes the word G3. So I need to export fire, uh, idle, pull out, put away, reload, reload empty, and then the view model. And hit export selected. Uh, and we also need to get some view hands, which are the first person hands. I'm just going to do them. Oh, cool. So now we need to go into our exported files in the Wraith Archon installation place, Modern Warfare. X models and then our view hands and open them up in Maya by double clicking them and that's the uh, .ma file which stands for Maya ASCII there's also MB which is Maya binary but yeah right so Maya has loaded and I'm just going to change the lighting um, and so we need to go back into our folder and we need to drag on the .mel uh, file onto Maya and this is a script that binds the bones to the mesh. Quite important, to be honest. Uh, it can take a minute. And what I would do if I were you is I would go into joints and select tag origin and do uh, rotate x and set it to minus 90 and that will set it properly. I'm going to leave it as it is because of how I have it set up in Unity for my setup. Uh, okay, so next we need to go and find our gun. And that's view model G3, and just drag it in. And as we can see, we have our gun here, and joints. That's the gun rig with all the good stuff. So we need to drag in the script again, and that will bind the bones to the gun. Uh, and now what we need to do is go into our hand rig and find tag underscore weapon. And we need to parent our J gun, which is the sort of base gun bone, to, or we need to uh, set the J gun as a child to tag weapon, sorry. So to do that, we click J gun, we control click tag weapon, and we press P, and it's a child. And then we need to zero out J gun, so set all the translate stuff to zero. And it's in the right place, yay! Cool. Uh, so, I mean, what we could do at this point, if we really wanted to be annoying, is um, create a camera object in Maya and set it as a child to the tag camera, but I'm not going to do that. Can't be bothered. So, next, to get the animations, what we want to do is um, we need to install the SE Anims um, plugin from Wraith Archon's website into Maya. It's Quite simple to do, just download it and then just Google how to install a plugin into Maya, and you're done. Um, and then up the top here, you should see SE tools, and then click it, import SE anim, and we want to go find our animation, which is in here. So I'm just going to grab the reload animation just as sort of like a to show you what it's all about, as you can see. Animations imported, and it should play. There you go. 
So I'll see if I can't get a somewhat first person angle on this. <laughs> right. There we go. Sideways, but whatever. There you go. And we got our reload animation. With all our hands and all that good stuff. So, uh, what we want to do now is go file, send to Unity, all. And I'm just going to create a new folder. G3. Let's just put it wherever you want, basically. <laughs> And I'm going to name it G3 under, uh, at reload. And the at um, basically names the um, animation clip that will be imported to reload and then associates it with any model in the same folder named G3. Right, I'm back. I've got my G3 reload animation somewhere. There you are. Uh, now. You can do a couple of things here if you want. You can go into Rig and leave it as generic, or you can go into Legacy. Um, if you want to leave it as generic, that means you have to animate it using Mechanim and animation controllers. If you want to do Legacy, it means you do it all through actual coding. I prefer to do it through Legacy for guns and first person stuff, but you know, it's up to you. Um, and you should see that yep, we've got our animation going. So I'm just going to quick. Create a new scene and just drag our G3 into our camera. And I don't know where it is. Ah, yes. Need to rotate. There you go. And rotate it till it looks about right. Yep. Just scale it up a bit too. There we go. Got our G3 in our game, and we go into animation. Play. And boom. That's a G3 for you. Looking all nice and nifty. And uh, the cool thing that about this is that in different Call of Duty games, all guns and hand rigs all use the same rig. So you can take any gun from any game and put it in to like a Call of Duty 4 hand rig or a Black Ops 3 hand rig so you could get a, I don't know, um, uh, a USP from Call of Duty 4 and put it in the hands of the funny little mech suit from Black Ops 3 if you wanted. Export and you're good to go. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. That is how to uh, get animations and models from Call of Duty games into Unity. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, see ya!